very red in the face, boy. We don't like that. Look, look at your granddad. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to stay. I'm moving this camera like the battery now. No. Oh, I am. Mm, I've got to get another one of my drugs. The straps have been tightened up. Yeah, No, I got him. You got him, that's
camera loaded with the film. <coughs> yes, I heard. <laughs> I did hear you got the camera. And Steve's suffering from a horrific hangover, which is the first time I've ever seen from him. What was that? <laughs> I didn't ask. I just went, God, you look rough. <laughs> and he's playing golf this afternoon, he said. Mm -hmm. Right, din din's time. Ain't cooked yet. Claire? This one is din din's time. Well, like this bloke, my son, is that it, they've been up, made an offer and he turned it down yeah. on 134,000. Salt. Here. No, it's empty. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know it was empty. No, Mark, James, I told him last night it's empty. Mark? It's in my What says about all that? Right? Can't put the kettle on. We can't put the kettle on now. Can't even have a cup of tea. What? That wasn't bad. The poor dog. He's been put in prison here. Look. <laughs> look at him. What have you got to say about it, Paddy? <laughs>
well done to every one of you, but most of all to Ian, who will be back with us again in the red, yellow and blue kitchens for the semi-finals. Next week, it's three of the best amateur cooks in Scotland. They'll be here to prepare our supper. And as Scotland has produced three out of seven master chefs to date, we know what to expect. My very fortunate guest judges will be one of the great teachers of Italian cookery, Susanna oh, Giometti. Oh, you've just done something that already, and yeah? And a shortcut to Mornington Crescent, Graham Gordon. Ah. Meanwhile, our thanks to Stefan Bruchowski, and Adam Palmer, exactly oh, that task for me, just so, uh, thanks to Ian. Oh, oh love it, it's temper tantrum. Yeah. 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 Yeah.